This is Jaap from Relining Group and in this video I'm going to show you the pullback unit. The pullback unit is a very useful tool, especially when relining longer lengths. Um, the pullback unit helps you to make sure that the surface of your relining job is very, very smooth and it makes the whole outcome look very professional. The pullback unit consists of three different pieces. The first one is the steering unit. The second one is the rotating motor and the third one is a construction that allows you to fix the rotating motor to any kind of pipe. To take the pullback unit into use, basically the only thing you need to do is connect the steering unit with the motor with this connector plug. The connector plug is plugged in at this side of the motor. Now you connect the steering unit to the electric power supply. To operate the pullback unit, the only thing you need to do is set a rotation frequency. You can see the recommended rotation frequency from the, from the remote screen. The purple box, when you put in the data of your pipe, it will show you the recommended frequency. After you put that in, the only thing you need to do is kind of switch it on. To reverse the rotation, use that small switch here saying forward or reverse. To stop, just switch it off. When you operate the pullback unit, the thing you do is actually you push your spray head to the part, or you push the spray head to the point where your spray starts. And you place your hose package on the pullback unit and you fix it by hand when pulling back. So basically, the pullback unit is a guidance for your hand for the pullback speed. Due to the fact that, that the hose package is not fixed, it gives you the flexibility to, for example, push it back in a bit if you wanna have a bit more of material on one point or you want to uh, cover up a place that you missed and also it gives you the freedom all the time to automatically stop by just lifting the whole um, hose package up. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to attach the fastening device to a pipe. First you may roughly want to choose the distance. This distance is, uh, is good for Small pipes, DN70, DN100, for bigger ones and for even bigger ones. You make sure these feet are in the right positioning. And then you open the distance. Until it fits around the pipe. by tightening this screw and connecting the fastening device to a pipe. Okay, now you can add the pulling device this way or that way. You choose your distance and now you can work like this for example
So this would be the way to operate. Due to situations on the job site or a not proper connection or not proper plugging in the connection cable on job sites, it may occur that when this plug gets loosened or disconnected, the pullback unit stops and it shows you an error code on the screen. In this case, switch off control unit, unplug the whole system from the electric power supply, wait until the screen extinguishes, plug back and firmly secure the connector, reconnect it to the electric power supply, reset your pullback frequency and spray on.